Hi everyone, let's take a look at number 15 on page 378. Prove that the magnitude of vector u plus vector v quantity square plus the magnitude of vector u minus vector v quantity square equals to 2 times the magnitude of vector u square plus 2 times the magnitude of vector v square. Step 1. Copy the left hand side. Step 2. Once you expand the left hand side, the first term becomes vector u plus vector v dotted into vector u plus vector v. Likewise, if you look at the second part, when you expand this, it's going to be vector u minus vector v dotted into vector u minus vector v. Now, to uh, stay organized, I am going to use the arrows just like this, and uh, at any given time, this is available to you. So that way, you can collect like terms accordingly. Now, if I look at the first arrow, that's going to be vector u dotted into vector u. The second arrow is going to be u dotted into v. If I look at the bottom arrows, it's going to be v dotted into u. And the last arrow in the first set of brackets, it's going to be vector v dotted into itself. Now likewise, if you look at the second part, it's going to be u dotted to u minus u dotted to v minus v dotted to u. And negative times negative is positive, so plus v dotted to v. Now, there are four different properties uh, that you should have learned, and one of them is called the magnitude property. So vector u dotted into vector u is going to be the magnitude of u squared. And if you look at the next two terms, u dot v and v dot u are the same, so they're commutative. So instead of saying v dotted to u, you can say u dotted to v. Again, just like the first term, Using the magnitude property, v dotted to v is going to be the magnitude square. And in the second half, it's the exact same idea. This is going to be the magnitude of u square minus u dotted to v minus u dotted to v plus the magnitude of v square. Now, if you collect like terms, this equals to 2 times the magnitude of u squared. So again, I'm going to cross these out so you can see where this is coming from. Now, if you look at the other terms, what you discover is that u dot v and negative u dot v, you can cross that out. And likewise, the other u dot v minus u dot v, you can cross that out as well. And you're left with uh, the magnitude of v squared. Uh, twice. So this is going to be plus 2 times the magnitude of vector v squared. And this equals to the right hand side. I hope this makes sense.